You talk about the OPEC cuts and you say, don't believe it. Do you trust the Russians, the Libyans <laughs> and the Nigerians not to cheat? You, you don't buy into it. No, and you were, you we're all, we all are victims of our past. Remember how important OPEC was and they set the market and oil prices create their own supply. So this year we've had oil go from 57 to 43 this summer and back to 57. But the higher oil prices grind high, if we get a higher price, that's going to bring more U.S. fracking interest. We have rig count back up to where it was in September. So first of all, I think there's going to be supply that meets these higher prices. But secondarily, I think this rally might have a little bit more legs because it's predicated on something which hasn't existed before, and that's global demand. The U.S. seems to be getting a tax cut through. It seems to be progressive for the economy. It seems that Britain and Ireland and the EU can figure out how to break apart, have a divorce, and then move forward. So maybe global macroeconomic demand will increase, but we'll have to see. The only governor to that is going to be the wild card, and that's U.S. US supply, which is almost as big as OPEC, which can come in and fill in any gap as soon as you get to 60 and higher. Brian, what's the mood like there as we approach this possibility of tax cuts becoming real in the United States? What's the spillover across the assets? It's funny, you know, with the stock market, couldn't be happier. We're going, trees grow to the sky. I mean, everything's fine. And the bond market doesn't believe it. Go look at the 10 year Treasury at a 240 and the 30 year Treasury at a 280. 240 for a 10 year Treasury note, nobody believes that there's going to be this giant growth and all this inflation and wage pressure. And so the, the bond market doesn't believe it. I think the mood is mixed that A, maybe we're actually going to get something passed. And B, it's for over 450 pages long. There's all sorts of stuff baked in there. It's not simple. It's not clean. I don't know if it's going to be the biggest tax cut in history, according to the president. We'll see when the details come out. But we are really close. The House and Senate version aren't that far apart. And there's an old saying, you buy the rumor and sell the fact. We'll see if the stock market can keep going once they actually pass the thing, and then we really know what's in it.